This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video over on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. I'm playing with World Chalice yet again, but I'm testing something. Uh, there are some people that are really wild out there on the internet, let's just say. Uh, and they have been testing machine duplication on World Legacy World Chalice to make Cyber Dragon Infinity. Cyber Dragon Nova and Cyber Dragon Infinity. So, uh, it takes up less space than the Kaiju package. It does the, in theory, same... Uh, it takes up less uh, main deck space than the Kaiju package because you have to run only three machine dupes versus having to run three or more of the Kaiju field plus Kaijus. Uh, at least one being Gamma Seal. What is this? Scars caused by the World Legacy? Oh, I'm playing against Jax Knights. Ugh. Is this a real deck? I have no idea. Um, my opponent has played two of these. Uh, once per turn, you can target one ten dangle monster you control. Give, but you discarded a Jax Knight. What? You can manage to card from your graveyard. Discard one ten dangle monster. What? How did this get in the grave? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just gonna do my own shit, and we're gonna go from there. I didn't, I didn't intend for that to rhyme, <laughs> but it did, so we'll go with that. Uh, so this Gofu should bait something. I've got a World Legacy World Chalice in my hand. What is this? Um, tar targeting an Altergeist. That is not an Altergeist card. That says Jack Knight of the Blue Sky. Oh, it's actually just a Tendangle Monster. Um, okay. What does this do? Uh, special summon attack position if you do equip this card to it. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Um, target an Elter Geist trap in your grave, add it to your hand. Okay, so this just has the wrong picture. And the wrong stats? Question mark? What the fuck is going on? Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can send one ten dangle card from your deck to the graveyard. If a monster is special summoned to your field and face on a position while this card is in your graveyard, special summon it. Okay. Um, so... None of those cards do anything to my game plan, so that's fine. Um, that is 100% fine. So I will normal summon this Venus, and I will activate its effect to summon a Shine Ball here. And then I'm going to make... I can make uh, Link Spider... And then, yeah, I can do Link Spider into into Imduk, then Tribute there for that. So that'll work. That will work. So, special this. I'm going to be working on the left-hand side, which is something I'm not used to, so I need to be very careful about my card placements. Um, but these can become an Eeb, or I could just do this. So I will do that. Uh, so we will get rid of this for the normal summon of my World Legacy World Chalice. I can go into an Eeb with these, uh, I can go into Proxy with these two um, up here, or I can go into Orum. If I go into Orum with these two, that opens up two spots, so that works. Alright. I'm, I'm losing my mind because I had to read cards. Like, it, 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 I got got. Which one is this? Okay, I don't want to activate the Imbook, because I don't want my field to get clogged. Uh, so we will summon Beckoned and World Chalice Guard Dragon. Summon these two. I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put the World Legacy World Chalice back into my hand and on my field um, at a later date uh, after I do the Ningirsu play. So that's going to be what we have going for us. So what I can do is I can go into Eeb here. Uh, I'll do it with this and this into Eeb. This can go into an Imduk. Uh, I've still got the Venus, which is still loaded for two. That's actually still a lot. Um, so Proxy Dragon with these two over here. And then I'll activate the Venus, paying five, getting a monster over here, which will then allow me to go into Imduk again, which will allow me to go into Ningirsu to do shit. Uh, I'll be able to mask the Ningirsu, but not like that matters. 
because if it mattered, it would have mattered on the World Legacy World Chalice and not here. But so I will activate this. I'll summon the Lee from my hand in this zone. I'll draw three cards. That's another Machine Dupe. And then this will activate. That's Exodius too. I've still got the Venus on the field. This is insane. This is a big, 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 big sequence of nonsense that's happening. Uh, but so what I can do is I can literally sequence it to where I extra link my opponent and then summon uh, the World Legacy World Chalice and we can go from there. No idea who is texting me, but it needs to stop. Needs to cease. Needs to stop. Please, phone, give me guidance. There we go. Alright. So from here, I can go into Firewall Dragon. I have World Legacy's Heart, which I can actually just go ahead and activate, which is good for me to add the add the thing back to my hand. I can always add this back off Firewall, but I mean, I can just do it here, so might as well. So we'll do this. And then I will make a Firewall Dragon with these two. Actually, I'm going to cancel that out. I'm going to use my Venus here to send cards to Grave because I can bring, I can bring back a card with... Uh, I can bring back my uh, my Ningusu with, um, with Orem. So I'm going to use it to send two cards. I need to remember that I'm trying to kill people. Um, but I will activate the, I'll send this to send this. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Uh, discarding this Machine Dupe to get rid of these cards. Um, so those go to Grave. And now I can make Firewall. Now I can make Firewall in peace. I, I had to read the Tin Dangle cards. And I also got confused because it was a Jax Knight picture. So... Cut me some slack, please. Um, so I will summon this here. And then I will use the Machine Dupe on it. Uh, not very valuable, because I'm only going to be getting one out of the deck. Uh, but I will still get my Cyber Dragon Infinity, so might as well, right? Uh, so we'll summon this here. I'll get my Nova into Infinity. Which, I mean, is honestly one of my favorite feelings. I love making Cyber Dragon Infinity. <laughs> I love making this card. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit stronger and weaker than Gamma Seal, uh, because Gamma Seal is not once per turn, uh, but Cyber Dragon Infinity uh, is a little bit easier to achieve uh, with just standard game states. So uh, I think it's possibly just better um, in the in the long and short of it. But so what I get access into now is I can special summon the Exodius. Everything goes back. Um, I lost a World Chalice Guard Dragon in there somewhere, but what the fuck ever. Does not matter in the slightest to me. So I'll activate, I'll go into, uh, I'll go into this. My Orum effect wasn't even used, but I don't care. Um, I, I don't care is literally just the, the motto of this, of this entire thing. This is game. This is, this is game and I don't care. Um, like I'm gonna stop comboing now. This is game. This is game. The Cyber Dragon Infinity negates the one card in his hand. I'm going to stop trying to combo off now, because my timer is really low. Uh, but I, the proof of concept was all I wanted to get to. I wanted to summon Cyber Dragon Infinity on the very first game that I ever record with this deck. Um, because it's super easy to drop Cyber Dragon Infinity. It's actually really cool. Uh, because all you need access to is you need access to either Machine Dupe, which you can draw into off in Gearsu, or you need access to just two copies of World Legacy World Chalice, which, you know... If you have a World Legacy World Chalice play, one, you could just hard draw two of them. Um, and then two, uh, the second uh, second thing you've got going for you is that you um, is that you could just draw two of them, or you could have one of them, and then off of your uh, off of your first World Legacy World Chalice play, your uh, Lee can search a second copy of it. So, um, I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do with this, other than maybe put in Zaphions. That, that seems like the move. Put in Zaphion. Um... So there's that. Uh, definitely a third Twin Twister. And what's coming out? We're bringing out Max C. We're going to bring out Vanilla. Um, and since I'm going second, I guess I'll take out uh, one of these. Disconnected. No! No! Fuck you! Fuck you, big boy! Um, my opponent has disconnected. But the thing is, I don't want to lose this recording. Because if I lose this recording, that means the proof of concept of Cyber Dragon Infinity, even though I was playing like an absolute shithead is lost to the world. So, I actually really like the fact that Machine Dupe is over here. Like, <laughs> it's a really cool concept. I don't know if it's something that I'll end up playing, but it definitely takes up less main deck space than the Kaijus do, which is something that I appreciate. It does take up more extra deck space, 
but we actually have a little bit more extra deck space to work with now because of Lysothogem being banned, meaning we don't have to play random two ofs of things like Orum and then Girsu, uh, because we don't want them to get banished by the dinosaur matchup, because now that's not a factor. Uh, so, like, we have space in the extra deck that you could work around with. Especially with Exodius being in the deck as well. Like, it resets things in the extra deck. And Cyber Dragon Infinity is one of my favorite cards. So I'm going to cut this video here. I'm definitely going to play more with this deck. And there's going to be more World Chalice Duel videos with this concept coming out in the coming weeks. Or not coming weeks, coming days. I'm planning way too far ahead in advance. In the coming weeks, I hope to be playing things like Jax Knights, Alter Geist, and stuff like that. This one got me confused uh, because the picture was just wrong. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Drop a like if you want to see more World Chalice videos and more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel videos. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you are enjoying the content that I've been producing and you want to help support my ability to continue creating content, the Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you rewards back, like entry into monthly giveaways for significant amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product, usually around the cost of a box or entry into my private Discord server, whichever one you want to be uh, interested in. If you're interested in any of that, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon, and I would thank you in advance for any support that you'd like to give me and the channel for growth and stuff like that. But special thanks, as always, to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me over on Patreon this month. You help out a ton, and as always, you have my eternal gratitude. But as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Let me know what your thoughts were, again, in the comments down below. And let me know what you think about the Machine Dupe Cyber Dragon Infinity nonsense, because I personally think that I'm, I'm liking it more and more the more I'm playtesting with it. But, as I've already said, thanks for watching, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.